Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would carry on with my little hack theme that I've got going on on my channel and do a laundry hacks video for you all. So today I'm going to be showing you a couple of products that I'm absolutely loving at the moment and I'm also going to be showing you a couple of tips and tricks on how to get stains out of your clothes using unconventional methods. If you guys are new to my channel and you're watching this for the first time, then hi, I am Kerry. I am a mum of two boys and as you can imagine, I have so much laundry. So if you like this kind of video, then please press the subscribe button down below because you will see loads more videos like this on my channel. So with all that said, let's get straight into my laundry hacks. So my first laundry hack is to have some products that aid you with your laundry. I recently discovered this two-in-one era by Bailida. It is absolutely amazing. It compacts down to hardly anything. It's so, so slim, so it'll fit in any area of your home. And not only that, but it also has 18 meters of drying space. The wires are also thicker and tubular, which makes it anti-creasing as well. So you know when you get really annoyed when you take your clothes off your dryer and they have this big long line in there? Well, on this device, this does not happen. It's got a super nifty special area where you can hang all your socks and pants so they're all in one place and it also has these really cool detachable wings so you can clip them onto the radiator if you want something to dry a little bit faster. But saying all of that I would have to say my favorite feature of this product is the fact it's got wheels so if you want to move it around your house or move it outside if suddenly the sun decides to come out you can so easily it is very very lightweight. For my second laundry hack, I'm gonna show you how to get those yellow sweat stains out of your white t-shirts. My husband's t-shirts do get a little bit gross under the underarms. So all you need to do is get some aspirin, soak the t-shirt in a little pot of warm water with a couple of crushed up aspirin tablets and leave it there overnight. When you wake up in the morning, pop the t-shirt into the washing machine with a couple of extra aspirin tablets and once it comes out, your t-shirt will be like new. My third laundry hack is also an error by Vileda. However, this one is for outdoor use. It can be for indoor use, but I have decided to hook it up outside. It is this really cool cordomatic system. So all you need to do with this area is to secure it onto a wall or like I've done a fence panel, and then you have got yourself 15 meters of airing space. This is a perfect product to have instead of one of those massive, ugly washing lines that you put in the middle of your garden and that are just a massive eyesore and take up loads of space. This is so compact whilst also giving you so much hanging space. It's got a really strong ABS plastic container which is extremely durable so it can last outside come rain, shine, snow or whatever the UK weather wants to throw at us. This item for me is a must. As you know, I love a little bit of minimalism in my house and this is so compact that no one can even see it. So my fourth laundry hack is definitely going to save you money. I don't know if you guys are anything like me, but when I go to put my fabric softener into the top of my washing machine, I always over pour and end up putting it right up to the maximum line. So I have actually done my research and I have seen that you only actually need the smallest amount of fabric softener for it to go a long way. So what I've done instead is I've got an old soap dispenser bottle. Once all the soap had been finished, I then washed it out, poured my fabric softener in there, and now when I go to put a wash on, all I do is four little pumps from my soap dispenser and that is enough to do my whole wash load which makes me really happy as it means now my fabric softener lasts so much longer and goes so much further. So this next product I want to show you guys is a game by Vileda. It is the Park and Go ironing board. What's really cool about this product is that it's got a metallic parking zone on the cover for convenience and durability. So you can park your iron face down instead of having it standing up whilst adjusting your ironing. You can simply slide your iron over to the parking zone. But it's also a great safety feature, especially when you've got kids around, as it means you won't have a wobbly iron balancing on your board. On the ironing board itself, it's got a really handy click and stop kid safe system this is a really important feature for me as my kids like to touch everything and they like to see if they can make everything work by themselves. So if your kids are anything like mine and absolute whirlwinds in the house, having this feature on this ironing board, it just gives me real peace of mind. You can also adjust the height between 74 and 94 centimeters. This again is a really great feature as now Chris can't say that I'm the only one who can iron in the house. You guys also know how I love to teach my kids things so maybe it also means that they can start learning to iron too. This ironing board has really wide feet as well so it is a very, very sturdy item. So in my last laundry hack for you, I am going to show you how to make your trainers sparkly white again. 
All you need to do is get your dirty trainers and then pop them into a bucket of warm water and add some baking soda. This is the same as bicarbonate of soda in the UK. You wanna soak them in there overnight as well while you're doing your t-shirts. And then when you wake up in the morning, pop them outside. I like to put them outside when the sun's shining and it's really hot because then the sun kind of burns out all of the stain. Once you have done that, pop them in the washing machine and they will come out so much whiter. And just to finish off the soles, you wanna get some nail polish remover and a cotton pad and go around all of the soles and you will take off any marks that have been left on there. So those are my laundry hacks for you all. I hope you enjoyed them. If you did, please give me a thumbs up so I know to make more videos like this. I will link all of the products that I have mentioned down below in my description box. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.